Kristen, here we are. Important thing is taking place today, creating awareness for the animal rights. Tell us about it. Tell us what time to what time, where you're going to be marching, just in case people who are watching might want to come down and participate. Sure. Hi, Ru. Um, Kristen A. Crage here, uh, animal activist and also Yonkers, young, long-time Yonkers resident. I'm here for the Animal Rights March 2023. Um, it's starting now. We are at City Hall. We are right behind City Hall at the Unity, the Unity Fountain it's called. So if you can make it down here, please come down here. Otherwise, you're gonna see us marching down North Broadway and then down Main. So please come with us, march with us. We are marching to um, don't shop or don't, uh, to adopt, don't shop. Stop animal abuse and um, spay neuter. We have been lobbying for a low cost spay neuter clinic for many years now. Um, it's been falling on, unfortunately, deaf ears, but we see how important it is. We have had the Toby project contracted every now and again, but what we need is a consistent, standing, low cost spay neuter clinic so people have access to low cost spay neuter and we don't see all these cases that are hoarding cases where people move, they leave animals. We really need to be able to get access to low-cost spay-neuter. Another thing is we need our representative to stand against animal abuse. We need them to come out and say, we are against animal abuse. We want to stop animal abuse and punish abusers so that they're punished with the same amount of jail time as child, uh, um, those that abuse children. So it's really important that our representatives come out, they stand against this, we really need this. Um, we are a city that cares about our animals. I know we see a lot of abuse, but there's also a lot of really good people that care. And what's happening is it's falling on those people's hands, those people that spend their own hard-earned money. Um, they do what's called TNR, trap, neuter, return, which is the humane method of trapping a cat or a kitten and then they take it to be vetted, you know, spayed, neutered, vaccinated on their own dime, and then they release it, or they find a home for it. But this is all in a person's own personal pocket, and we really need our representatives to stand up and stand against animal abuse, and to get this low-cost spay neuter clinic up and running. Um, I know that the Yonkers Animal Shelter has a beautiful uh, surgery suite. We could start there. Um, so. We really need to have this um, get going. Now, Kristen, what would you tell our legislators, local legislators, you know, what would you suggest to them that they could do to help creating more awareness or change things yeah. so animals are not abused? Yeah, absolutely. The first thing that they can do, number one, is listen to the people. People have requested to meet with the mayor, with the council person. Uh, mine is John Rub Rubo, I think his name is. Um, and to listen to us and know we are the ones out there. We are the boots on the ground. We are literally free animal control that are helping the city. So we need you to listen to us. We know what's needed. It's not a huge expense. If they're willing to do a mobile clinic every few months, then they should be able to work in their budget a uh, standalone spay neuter clinic. Um, and the other thing is that they need to take a walk around and see what we're talking about. They need to be in downtown Yonkers. They need to be by Lionsgate Film where all these cats and kittens have been dumped many years. Um, so those are the first two things. Listen to the people, take a walk around the area that you're representing, and then just start doing it. Stop talking about it. Just start doing it. We need action. Um, again, we don't need any more once a month mobile clinics. We need our own standalone clinic. The other thing I want to mention is that because the Mount Vernon shelter closed, I know they're working on getting their own. We have more stray cats and kittens and because we border the Bronx, we have double the amount. So we really need this to be an issue that our representatives are going to take seriously and start taking action about. Now let me take the opportunity of this live stream because there is lots of people watching us. Right. Know, to, to ask pet owners to be responsible when you acquire a pet. A pet, to me, is a family member. When you acquire it, 
you know your pets want to need medicine, a vet here and there, and by all means, when you move out, don't leave your pets behind. Yep, yep. Okay. Yep, always have a plan for your animal companion. Put it in your will, put it in your living will. Make sure you have a plan. I have a plan for my cat. Um, make sure you have something. If you're adopting an animal, have that in mind. Make sure also when you adopt an animal, it's for life. This is not something you do on the fly. Oh, I'm feeling down. Oh, I'm just feeling lonely. This is a symbiotic relationship, a two-way street. You're rescuing and that animal's rescuing you. So you have to be able to afford health care costs, food. Um, you need to be able to have uh, your baby looked after if you go on vacation. And then, of course, God forbid something happens to you, you need to have a plan someone to take your animal or something that you have um, for your animal, God forbid something should happen to you. Exactly. If you, if, you, if you move out, if you decide to move and you decide not to take your pet, have a backup plan for that. Have a, have a safe home for them. Make sure that they go somewhere that they're going to be taken care of and that you know that they're not going to be a burden on somebody else and that'll lead to the abuse of this animal. Just eat because your pet is your child. If you move exactly. out of an apartment, you don't give your child an, you know, up for adoption. Yeah. Right? yeah. So yeah. You, your pet, your cat, your dog is your child. That's yeah. your baby. If, if you they don't, don't take like you that, with that dog, maybe reconsider. Yeah. Exactly. If they don't yeah. take you with your dog, with your cat, on the new apartment, look for another one where, where they do. You That's know? right. That's and right. spay neuter is really important for all of the animals that you adopt. And if there's any behavioral issues, instead of giving up right away, make sure you've brought your animal to a veterinarian to make sure there's no underlying health issues. And there's plenty of resources to help get you through um, any issues you might be having with, uh, with a pet. Good Thank point. you. So guys, you out there watching us, participate. Remember, actions, not words, is what changed the world. So we can be behind the computer, talking, debating, talk about this, this issue all day long, but nothing will change unless you take action. That's right, that's right. Yeah. We have, Anything else, Kristen? Just in closing, you know, we have a, a little group here, but you know, there are a lot of people that care about our animals. Um, like Ruth says, come down if you can. Um, look out for these events because the more people that speak up, the more voices, the more action, uh, the more that there will be likely to have action from our representatives. And um, yeah, please. Is please anything that the people who are watching is, if they want to do something, if they, who should they call? Who should they reach out to? If they want to do like, like um, uh, ask your uh, legislator, your representative, who should they call? Mayor Spano is the first person. He's our mayor. Um, he's somebody that you want to reach out to to get a low-cost spay neuter clinic up and running. And then on the heels of that is your local um, council person because they're the budget people. So reach out to your local council person and tell them, Hi, my name is so-and-so. I would like to have low-cost spay neuter in Yonkers. Put it in the budget for next year, please. Um, the other people they can reach out to is their local state representatives. Uh, I think. Bowman is ours, um, yes. Jamal Bowman. You can Nathan also, Sage. Yeah, yeah Sage. Um, James Nolan, all of them, yeah, all of them all. All of them, yeah. Reach out to your representatives. Make your voices heard. Don't just stand back and, you know, criticize or be upset about what's going on. Take action. And, and don't just be a bystander. Like, don't think that, oh, somebody else is going to call. The more, the more voices, the better. Be yes. one of those voices. So guys, starting tomorrow, Monday, get that phone, call the mayor's office, call all of your legislative representatives, call them all, and tell them that it's enough. We need to take care of those animals. They have rights. And they create laws that will have serious consequences to those that actually abuse animals. Yeah. And then also, lastly, like uh, Maria says, spay, neuter, spay, neuter, spay, neuter. Hit me up at the Yonkers Low-Cost Spay-Neuter Initiative page if you need a resource. Right now we have nothing here, that's why we're lobbying, but I can at least connect you with something in the neighboring town not too far. A $60 cab ride is better than a $600 vet bill. Where can please. find page? Oh yeah, Yonkers Low-Cost Spay-Neuter Initiative Facebook page. Anything on Instagram? 
Nothing on Instagram. Soon. Once you have it, you let me know. We post it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys.